Hi everyone, Mike, your local farmer here with Mount Hope Farms, and today we are working on per putting up some perches and some hawk boxes out here. I talked about these a bit in the last video on the owl boxes, but what we're doing today is going to be uh, putting up perches to allow the hawks and owls to have some places to rest while they're out working in our fields, and some of the sparrow hawk and kestrel boxes. Now our perches, we'd like to get those about 0, 10, 12, a little more feet tall. We're using two inch pipe on them. It fits nicely over a standard T-post, which we drive into the ground, give it just a little bit of a lean into the direction the wind comes, which for us is from the southwest. Sorry about that. I'm trying to juggle a phone the perch up. They just slide right on down in. Uh, you can give it a couple of good tants so it sticks down into the mud a little bit. And it's just that easy. Up at the top we used a T-fitting, put one screw through it after gluing it to make sure nothing came loose, and then we used a 2x2 two two that we uh, treated, stuck it through there. It's around two foot long so it sticks out a foot or so on each side giving them a good spot to perch and it's screwed in from the bottom this keeps it from falling out and if we see one is leaning too much right now this is leaning into the wind give it some time it's going to blow back and straighten up if we have some leaning too much we'll come out and adjust them as needed now i saved you the trouble of hearing me pound the post in out here here again, this is a little bit heavier T-post than the other ones we were using because it's going to be holding up one of the hot boxes. It's driven in with that slight lean into the wind, and we're putting three band clamps down on here. As we get this up, I'll show you why we're doing that. But first, before we put the box up, we need to bed it down. Now I'm using a combination of cedar toe. Just go right in through the hole here as well as pine shaving. Now like I said on my last video, the reason I'm using that is one, I think cedar toe in our experience helps to control mites and bugs that could bother the birds. Some people don't like using cedar toe but I think it does help with that. And two, these are the materials we have on hand. We're not going to go out and buy anything fancy when we got this stuff sitting here on hand, ready to go. It's a little tougher bedding these down because when they're mounted up on a pole like this, I can't see how full I'm getting them in there. I'm just having to kind of guess and hope that I'm about right. The only thing I can figure is it's better than nothing and it's better than what they would have if I didn't put this box in. Now we got the box out here. I'll give it just a little bit of a shake back and forth. Get all those shavings settled down into there. And then this is where I need another set of hands. I've got to drop this, pick it up and drop it down onto the band clamps. So there we go. Flipped on. Now I'm ready to start tightening up the band clamps. Now as I go to tighten these up, I want to make sure that that opening on the box is facing east. That's what they said these hawks like, is an opening facing east. And it works out good for us because most of our storms come from the south and the west. So this keeps it oriented so that the storms, the wind, the rain isn't going to drive in there and interfere with the hawks when they're nesting. And I apologize again for the filming because I am juggling a drill, a camera, and a couple band clamps. 
These we'll be tightening up, two up top, one down at the bottom. This should give us a nice secure hold. And here we are, tightening up the last of the band frames. All nice and tight. And now that this is all finished, we have the hawk box up there. This is for sparrow hawks, or kestrels is another name for them holes up there it's facing out east our storms all come off from this direction our southwest two band clamps nice and tight up here toward the top holding against the t-post one band clamp down here at the bottom holding this nice and snug at the base a slight lean into the wind to allow it as the ground is soft to drift back to a more upright position. We'll come out and check these periodically and if we need to we'll reset the post and remount the box. This is one inch conduit. That's what it called for for mounting these on poles and if you look up here you can see there is a bracket on the back compared to the owl boxes. These had this bracket for the post to be mounted on. The owl boxes had a plate, which you can see those four holes up there would have been used to mount on the plate. Watch the owl, move the owl video. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now, if you like what you've seen out here today, if you like following along with what we're doing on the farm, be sure that you like, comment, subscribe, keep up with what we're doing. We're going to keep you in the loop. We're going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes of what goes on out here. And this all really does relate back to what goes in the jars of fruit spread that we sell. Because without doing all of this, we don't have the fruit to go into those jars. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, comment, interact with us, ask us questions. We love to answer questions. And thank you again for watching.